Hi, this is Zach Mead from Zach's Traders Cafe with a look at some bulletin board hero stocks on Friday the 22nd of July. Starting off with Asia Met Resources and here we've got a triangle breakout here, also closing above the initial uh, July 2.5 pence uh, resistance. So that should mean that uh, we're on our way for um, a retest of uh, late April uh, highs uh, towards 4 pence over the next month or so. Stop loss back below the 50 day moving average of 2.18 pence. Uh, next stock is Barclay Energy, which is uh, doing what it was supposed to do. We were looking for a 50 pence target uh, uh, earlier in the month and then upgraded that uh, to 55 pence, 56 pence. Uh, all of this within a rising trend channel uh, from uh, the middle of last year and uh, still another uh, five, five pence or so to go uh, despite recent gains. This stage really only back below uh, the 45, 46 pence really would really uh, undermine the ongoing uh, bull market or at least uh, delay the prospect of further gains for this stock. Uh, Box Hill uh, stock which has not been covered for quite a while for uh, rather obvious reasons that uh, the shares uh, uh, hit uh, were hit by the bears but uh, looks like we've got a decent recovery here over the past uh, couple of months breaking above the 50 day moving average of 0.21 pence and above that uh, initial target the 200 day moving average of 0.29 pence and then up to uh, the range highs around 0.45 pence over the following one to two months. Uh, Highland Natural Resources is next and uh, here we've got a situation where uh, we were tentative about the recovery prospects for the shares but with a gap earlier in the week, the gap higher that is, and holding the 10 day moving average at 22.15 pence, uh, it now looks rather more likely that we'll hit the 50 day moving average at 38 pence over the next two to four weeks as part of uh, a reversal uh, which uh, took about uh, you know took the best part of two months to get underway independent oil and gas is a stock i haven't looked at for quite a while but progress seems to still be uh, in uh, in in order we had a bounce off the 50-day moving average, 15.79 pence on the floor of this rising trend channel uh, in place on the daily chart since March. Implied target here up to 25 pence, and that seems to be uh, entirely valid, especially while we hold above that uh, uh, late uh, June resistance uh, around the uh, 18.7 pence level. On to Proteum Pharma, which... Uh, it's another one which, uh, sorry, Proteum Sciences rather, which is another stock which I haven't looked at for quite a while, um, given the uh, sharp decline from April highs. Uh, but we're through the 200 day moving average at 17.08 pence, and really well above that. The target here over the next month or so is uh, the top of this broadening uh, triangle from at the beginning of the year at 26 pence. And uh, with the RSI slightly overbought, well, we'll probably be looking for any dips back towards uh, the 18 pence area, initial June resistance before going long. Uh, finishing off with Proxama, which has uh, been beaten down quite hard over recent months. Still not entirely out of the woods, but we've got the high low for uh, July above 0.2 pence uh, versus uh, uh, June. Uh, that low in uh, June, 0.27 pence, and really well, we're above that. There's a chance of filling the gap up towards the 0 0.6, 0 0.7 pence uh, zone, the gap down from June. If you're cautious on the shares, maybe wait for an end of day close uh, back above uh, that last uh, uh, July resistance at 0 0.44 pence. Uh, that's it for me. More updates at the same time on Monday.